Good afternoon everybody and welcome to a sunny Lithgow. It's a bright 12 degrees Celsius um, winter day. God, I had to think what spring uh, time we were. Anyway, just a short one for you. I just thought I'd introduce my new car, show you all its features and everything else. Now, those that know me well will know that it's not unusual that I haven't told anybody about I'm buying a new car. And those that don't know me, well, it is unusual that I haven't told everybody I'm buying a new car. Anyway, so without further ado, we'll have a look at my 2023 Vauxhall Velox. Yes, that's right. No, 2023 Vauxhall Velox. Latest in state-of-the-art automotive design and features. And we're going to go through them all. All the interior ones, all the external ones all those lovely features this car has. So first of all, it is powered by an enormous six cylinder engine, straight six, with modern conveniences like overhead valves <laughs> and a single carburetor. And it drives through a three speed gearbox offering the latest in technology. We don't want any of those synchro meshy things on first gear because they're just awkward. So we've got the latest of technology there. It has four, count them four, there's two on this one and two on that one, foot powered brakes, drum brakes, one on each wheel, one set of drums on each wheel. The latest in foot power, as indeed is the steering. The latest in Armstrong steering. Absolutely perfect for all those people that can't drive cars. Um, Yes, what else have we got here? We have the latest in incandescent bulb headlights and fog lights and parking lights blinkers all combined. Oh, wait till you see the blinkers. They're, they're even better, but we'll have to do that when I get inside because I need the air ignition turned on. So it is a four door sedan, as we can see, with a very ample boot at the back. Uh, which I'm not opening because I've got it locked. <laughs> Although I have got the keys in front of me. See, we have the latest in push button key technology. You push this button on the end into the ignition and it works. So, beautiful. So let's have a look at the interior features because they're even more surprisingly good. Absolutely wonderful two seats. One big one in the front, one big one in the back. What more can you ask? You can take you and five of your friends for a nice little drive. Works wonderfully. We have the latest in power window technology. Watch this. Press a button and the windows go up. Carefully, well, with a bit of a struggle. And press another one and the windows go down. Never any problems with those motors. Look at this door furniture. Best of non-scratchy materials here. Not a scratchy material to be seen. Carpeted door pockets. You can get full bottles in there, but you can get empty ones as well. And in there, you can keep things like, oh, what do we got? Oh, glasses, clip on glasses. And I can see sunglasses as well. Can't get them out. Hang on, sunglasses. And the very efficient driving gloves, because you need those. And the door opener for the garage door. So let's, let's look at these wonderful electronics we have in this car. Oh, I'll need that key out of, back out of my pocket. Now, it's equipped with all the modern safety features. So it has two airbags, one in front of you here, and one in front of the passenger here. The problem with these airbags is that you have to watch them because when they actually go off, these metal or plastic section here, but metal section there hits you in the face first of all, so it tends to remove any advantage of the airbag. So we'll put the push button key into the push button lock. Oh, and there is the infotainment system. Now I'm gonna have trouble demonstrating this infotainment system because the problem with it is that the screen doesn't come up properly on this camera. So we have three control buttons here that do various functions, but most of it is slide. Just touch, see, look, look how active it is. It just, it just reacts to my touch quite quickly. It's incredible. It's got the latest of everything in it. The sound system is amazing. It's so good, you can hardly hear it. Um, 
but it's wonderful. I know you can't see it because it just doesn't show up on camera. But I've got all sorts of things here. It's got all the climate control, seat controls, because these seats are neither heated nor cooled, the latest feature. Uh, they're in a lovely vinyl. Oh, oh, sensuous vinyl. But we've got more of these non-scratchy plastics up the top, or in this case, hard metal. Best stuff ever. Doesn't do anything. Pla more hard metal. Oh, oh, yes, yes, yes. We have brilliant dials. We have a dial here that has both your fuel and your water and temperature here. We have a light for ignition and a light for oil. We have your speedo. Now, we don't want any of these modern kilometery centipede things. So we've gone for the good standard British miles per hour. And we have an electronic readout for the speed of no not the speed the distance in this case it's little electronic numbers that roll over mechanically but it works well so over here we have one of our storage receptacles known as an ashtray and we have another one on that side there more wind up windows little court of these are for ventilation so these are your best demisters ever open those up blows air on to the windscreen to miss it. Uh, what else have we got here? We got, oh look, this is the other button control panel here. Don't worry about this thing, that's just to put my phone on. That's a bit, you know, aftermarket technology. But we have the control panel here that has all the features you want in a car. Fan, which in fact turns that on. Fog lights, which turns the fog lights on the front. Side and headlamps. We have our choke for when we don't like the passenger. You pull that out and it throttles them. The panel lights to change the intensity of light that you get in the dash. Actually, it doesn't work at the moment. It's burnt out and it's bypassed, but another. And then these modern cars with their push button starts. This is a pull button start. See, marvelous technology. The stuff we have in 2023, it's incredible. Almost no hump in the middle so your third per passenger the one in the middle here can sit very comfortably there because there's almost no hump we have this special eject button you can just see that there in the carpet that's the eject button so we've got the choke button to choke your passenger this is to eject your third person the one sitting in the middle of the seat you have your clutch and brake pedal and as i said this has got that modern technology of foot powered braking oh, and an accelerator oh marvelous thing but we've got to show you those blinkers haven't we because they're they're wonderful we don't have these silly look absolutely no other than our lovely little three speed gearbox we have no other stalks because your hair oh actually now i should be doing a hub nut test shouldn't i oh yes i can do that actually I can do that. Yes, we'll do that. So hang on for a second. So we will turn our key and get our modern pull start. And there we are, she started. So our hub nut. Now I have no washers, I'm afraid. This, this one didn't come with washers. That's an aftermarket thing. So this little slide switch here, look at it. Don't see this one? It says wiper. That one says wash, not connected. This one is wiper. So what we do, is we pull it out and there they go look at them but they are variable speed and that variable speed is controlled by your accelerator foot so we accelerate see variable speed wipers marvelous technology they have push it back in and they even self-park isn't that wonderful? Now, while we've got it running, we'll have a look at our indicators. Now, we'll shut the door because it'll look better. So, here we have, for those people that don't know, this is known as the A pillar on a car, the B pillar on a car, and C. Sometimes you'll get B, C, and D, but we'll just go B. And we've got this piece here. Oh, do we know what this piece is for? I don't know, what could it be? Let me see now. Let me, oh my God, it's the indicator. Look at that. I'll get it from the front. Look at that, indicator sitting out there. 
Oh, the marvels of modern features, I don't know. And look from the back. So anybody can see it front to back. Although just to show you that we do have other ones. Because these ones don't blink. So look at that. Lovely. Oh, isn't it fantastic? Oh, I love that. And we're just dropping back down and clonk. It's back in. So there we go. Oh yes, I forgot another very important feature. We have adjustable mirrors on both doors and you adjust them by hand. So there you go. What else can we give you on this beautiful car? You can hear it purring away there. Oh, Ooh, look, see, passenger door, adjustable mirror. Oh, sun visor. Oh, the other one. I can't do that from here. I'm on the wrong side of the car now. Oh, actually, yes, I can. We'll do it from here. Hang on, hang on. Let's give it, let's give it. Oh, there it is. There it is, look. Same as the other one. Oh, don't clonk, gone. And again, electric wind down windows. Oh, and electric wind up windows. There we are. Well, I don't really think there's much more. We might turn, we might turn her off. I've got to put her away. But... Oh, drop the case. Doesn't matter. So there you go. The 2023 Vauxhall Velox. Isn't that lovely? And of course, for those of you that haven't realised by now, I've lied. It's a 1953. So it is 70 years old. Anyway, I think that might do this wonderful little video. Now, I have this new push button, remote button in, in my pocket here. So this has gone for 12 minutes, this video. That should do it. Anyway, thanks, guys. Talk to you later.